Well, hello there, fishing friends. And if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to catch and find the great barracuda. Uh, this is to prepare for the competition tonight. So hopefully this video will help you out. If you run onto this video after the competition, then this will be how you catch the great barracuda. Maybe you're just out here to learn how to catch the great barracuda. So for tonight, the competition is gonna be from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So that's gonna be Pacific Standard Time. If you are not in Pacific Standard Time, jump on the Google and uh, see what time it will be for you. You know, this is gonna be military time here, 1600, so that's 4 p.m. to 1900 is 7 p.m. So let's get started. Um, this is gonna be found on Japan Free S4, and it's gonna be the Oshima Bridge. Okay, so here we are on location four of the Japan Free. Let's go get get started here. Let's pull up our Fishopedia and take a look at the fish. So here at the end, we have the Great Barracuda, and we have three lures that it likes. Uh, what we're gonna be using to spot this guy is the Whopper Plopper. So you also have the Metal Jig. So you got the Amberjack that likes the Metal Jig. I don't think anything else likes the Metal Jig. So technically, you could probably use the Metal Jig to catch this guy. However, you're gonna be catching a lot of Amberjack as well. So you can start with the Metal Jig and then just go over to the Whopper Plopper to look for it. Or you can start with a whopper plopper and then jump back to the metal jig if needed. Um, sometimes you don't need to go back to the metal jig. Sometimes you can catch it on the whopper plopper depending on the depth of where the fish is at. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's do a quick reset here. And as you can see on the metal jig, I got two green fish out here. This one is kind of low down there and this one is about mid depth. Um, the great barracuda is the top and middle depth, which is why the whopper plopper might not work if it's down if it's down too low, then you'd have to jump over the metal jig. So let me go to the right two times to go over to the whopper plopper. And as you can see, none of those fish turned green. Here I have my whopper plopper on there and no green fish. So those are not going to be the great barracuda. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset by going, you know, back to expert, back to hard. Or if you want, you can go back to normal. You can catch this fish on normal. Um, I highly recommend using normal and hard when you're doing this competition. If you're doing a competition, if you're just catching it just for fun, you know, you can fish on expert if you want the points or whatever. Um, but when you're looking for it specific for a competition, I would recommend using hard or normal. Normal, you can stick that lure right in front of its face. So that's going to probably be the easiest to go. Um, I personally, I like to fish on hard. So let me go back to hard and see if we got one. So we have one over here. It looks like it's probably the mid depth. It's not as bright as a bright, bright fish would be. Um, as you can see, this yellow one is really bright. So this is the huge fish right here. That's the great barracuda. I'm on my whopper plopper and it's green. It's the only green fish on the whopper plopper, as I said before. So now I'm gonna go over here two times to my left to bring up my um, metal jig. I almost forgot the name of it there. To bring up my metal jig. And now this is the guy right there that I'm gonna go, gonna go after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast out here. I'm using my rod A. Um, well, this is one of the uh, the gift rods, but uh, it is considered a rod A. Um, the rod A casts out 300 feet. So as you're reeling it in, as every rotation of the reel, you know, it brings it in 10 feet. So if you cast out here to 300 feet, right here is 250. So you would count to a count of five if you want to catch this fish right here count to a count of 10, and then to kind of drop it down and try to get to, the, you know, right here. This is going to be, you know, 5, 10, 15 right there. So it's going to be in the 15 mark. So you can count to like 12 and just let your, your line drop and try to get in its face right there. So uh, hopefully I don't get this guy out here. Let's see if I can cast. Sometimes I can't cast very good. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I'm gonna let it drop. And I'm gonna play with it right there. There we go. I'm gonna let it sit right in front of its face. And it's gonna take off. The Great Barracuda is a huge fish, uh, which is why I also recommend getting, you know, your A reel. You wanna have a good reel. The uh, the rod helps you for casting far out there and helps you with counting back. Um, the reel is going to help with catching these huge fish. Uh, you can catch it on lower grade gear. You know, I've shown, I have videos in the past showing how to catch sharks and stuff. It's going to be similar because it is a huge fish. 
And also, if you do not see any huge fish, you might not be a high enough level. If you're not a high enough level, then I highly recommend going out there before this competition starts and uh, catching and releasing those fish so you can get that XP. That way you can get a higher level so that you can join the competition and try to catch these fish. And like I said before, if you're just out here just because you're trying to catch the Great Barracuda, um, the competition's over, then you can watch this part of the video. Once I catch the fish, it's over. You know, that's it. <laughs> then you can continue on. After this part of the video, I'm going to go ahead and continue on and show you how to take a picture and stuff like that. So there we go. We got the Great Barracuda. And it's not my personal best, but hey, it's number 15. I, have, I don't catch a lot of these guys. I, I don't normally go after them, but I'm doing this for the, the competition in case you guys want to catch the Great Barracuda. So there you go. If you're just here to catch the Great Barracuda, you're done. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you want to see how to take a picture and all that other stuff, stick around. I'm going to show you that next. Okay, so you stuck around. You want to see how to take a picture. First thing you need to be aware is you cannot do this using your meta avatar. If you're still using your meta avatar, go into the closet on the right side of the, the television screen in the lodge and go up to the mirror and change your meta avatar there. Change it back to the real VR fishing avatar. I like the real VR fishing avatar better because you got your watch and your watch is what you're going to be using to take a picture and to post this on the Facebook page to join this competition. Um, also, the meta avatar lags very badly um, for others. You don't notice it when you're fishing. However, if you're doing multiplayer and others come into your room and you're using a meta avatar, it tends to lag it for everybody else. So I personally do not ever recommend using the meta avatar. Some people like the looks of it, but I don't use it because for one, I like my watch. That way I can see what time it is. And for two, it lags really bad for multiplayer. All right. So now that we've gotten that part out of the way, I'm going to show you how to take your picture. Now to do this, we're going to be using voice commands. There's a couple other ways to do it. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. So the first way I'm going to show you is using voice commands. So, First you want to do is you want to get you want to get your uh, Great Barracuda sign there in front of you and you get it's going to want to back up a little bit so that you get that sign up there. You're going to bring your watch up here and you're going to get it really close to your face. And I mean really close to where it kind of lags out right there. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to double click your Oculus button and then you're going to say take photo. Move your head over to the right a bit. and it takes the photo. All right, now that's how you get your nice close-up picture of your watch and you get the sign in there. Now the second way you can do it is you can press your Oculus button one time and then take a photo from the main or from the screen. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna press my Oculus button one time. It brings us up here. You can hit this photo then you go back to real VR fishing, resume, get your watch up there. But you have to do it fast because you get a you get like a three or five second timer. So using voice commands, you know, you can just get everything situated and then say your take photo. Whereas doing it that way, you know, you have to be pretty quick to get it up there and get it right. And then there is actually a third way you can use hey Facebook. And what that does is that turns on, hey, hey, Facebook voice commands, which I actually don't have mine enabled. But to do that, you would go into your menu. menu. Go to setting. All right, let's see. It's okay. It's under experimental. And then there's, hey, Facebook right there. You can turn that on. You do have to restart your headset after you do that. And that will turn on, hey, Facebook. And then in, when you're in that, when you have Hey Facebook turned on, you get everything situated and you just say, Hey Facebook, and then say, take a photo. So it's similar to the voice commands, except you don't have to double tap your, your Oculus button, which is fine for me to just double tap my Oculus button. Not a big deal. All right. <clears throat> so now that you have taken your photo, now you need to post your photo onto Facebook. Now to do that, uh, you can go into your files and if you don't see your files here, your files will be right there. So you can click on files. And then we wait. 
for the recents to show up. And there we go. So there we have the watch and we have you know, the sign back there, Great Barracuda. As you can see, that was the one that I did where I had to put it up really closely. And then this was the one I did the first time where I got it. I just said, you know, double click my Oculus button and said, take a photo. So as you can see there, we have the size. You got to have your size in there. And then here, we will go ahead and bring it up. So you got your your watch nice and bright. You know, you can see the date, the time, all that. That's why you want to get it really close to your face. And then you have the, the size right there. Um, they also do require you to have this in inches. So if you don't have it in inches, I'll show you how to change that here in a second. So now that you have your picture, how do you upload it to Facebook? You press this little share button up here. You select your Facebook page and then type in your player name. So, of course, that would be the VR Fisherman. I would type in the VR Fisherman and then would hit post. I'm not going to post it right now because right now it's not the competition. So I'm just kind of showing you this to where that's how you would post it. Now, you could also sync this to your mobile app. And what this does is it syncs it to the cloud. Um, for a, a few days, I, I want to say it's like a month or something like that. Once you sync it to your mobile app, then you can go into the meta app that you use for the, the meta headset on your phone and you can pull it from there and post it through there as well. So that's another option. And then the last option, like if you want to do this onto a, a, a specific post inside of Facebook. Because if you do this right here, it's just going to post it on the main page. If you want to do it to a specific post, say you're fishing in Docs Derbies and they have a daily post. To do that, what I would do is I go into the home. You know, I, I, I get out of here. I go into my, my home. And then what I do is open up the browser right through here. You get your MetaQuest browser. You open up your browser, log into Facebook on there, and then you can open up and you can open up the Facebook um, page that you want to go to, uh, go to that specific post and upload your picture that way. So those are three different ways to upload your picture. Let's go ahead and resume back here. All right, so now let's see. I don't know if... Let's, let's go ahead and keep this guy. Get some money up there. I don't need to release it. I have plenty of XP. I'll go into our settings here. So as you can see, we don't have inches in here. So let's go back home. And it's not really back home. It's more, let's go back to the lodge. So here we are in the lodge. Let's bring up the settings here. This has more settings than what you have in the little pop-up. In here is where you're going to be changing your units. So you need to have it in inch and pounds right there. So if you have centimeters and kilograms, you need to switch it over here to inch and pounds just for this competition. If you aren't doing this competition, then you don't want to, then uh, you can leave it at centimeters and kilograms, then you can leave it like that. But for for this competition, they require you to have inch and pounds. So there you go. Now, while we're here, let me show you how to, you can change back to your avatar. All right, so here we are. This is how you're gonna change your avatar. See right down here on the bottom where it says use meta avatar. Now, if you're in your meta avatar, then you would switch over to use your real VR fishing avatar. Can't remember what it's called, but I think it's just change it to your normal avatar. So that's how you would change it. Hello there, if you haven't seen me. If you see me on multiplayer, this is this is what I look like. <laughs> so, so there you go. And then once you've changed your avatar, you can save it, change your clothing and all that other good stuff, all the all your rewards. Matter of fact, your rewards that you're gonna get for the competition. You can only wear those in your uh, real VR fishing avatar, so you can't use it on your meta avatar. So if you want to wear your reward shirts or whatever, and all the shirts that you get from your, you know, weekly logins, that's where you would be able to pick it from this mirror. Okay, so hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button so you can see more tips and tricks like this in the future. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.